what's going on people switchbrew here and welcome back to another video so in this video today we're going to be looking at how to set up a switch emulator for the pc which is called ryujinx and this is going to be a full start to finish video on how to set this up now unfortunately there used to be an emulator called yuzu which was really good as well and i wanted to do a video on this but unfortunately like i said it's been shut down due to nintendo so today we're going to be looking at ryujinx Basically what I'm planning on doing as well is doing other reviews on different emulators for the PC and stuff and showing you guys how to set them up. So without further ado, let's get on with the video. So guys, before we start setting up Ryujinx, there are a couple of files that you're going to need. First of all, you're obviously going to need the Ryujinx emulator, which the current version is 1.1.14. I'll put the download link in the description for the Ryujinx website. If there is a later version out, sorry, when you watch this video, just go ahead and grab that. That won't be a problem at all. You'll then need the Nintendo Switch's latest firmware files, which at the moment they are 18.1.0. Again, I will put the download link in the description. If there is a newer version out by the time you watch this video, just go ahead and download that. You're going to need a game to test. As you can see, I've got the game here. Obviously, for obvious reasons, I'm not going to be telling you how to get that. You'll have to get that off your own back or on your own accord. And you're also going to need your product keys. Now, this is where it's going to get a bit difficult. If you own a modified Nintendo Switch or a jailbroken Nintendo Switch, should I say, you can run an application on the console, which is called Lockpick, and you can dump the keys to the Switch console and transfer them over to your computer. If you don't have a modified Nintendo Switch, but you know someone who does, you could politely ask them if they would dump their product keys and you would be able to use them to load up Ryujinx. However, if you don't have them two options, the only thing I can suggest is try scouring Google for some. However, it's highly unlikely that someone has just randomly posted their product keys on Google or over the internet. So yeah, without further ado, guys, let's get started. So the first thing you'll want to do is you'll want to extract the Ryujinx emulator. So we're going to do that now. I'm going to right click on it, go down to WinRAR and click extract to ryujinx blah 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 folder so i'm going to click on that and it's going to make a folder here as you can see so we're just going to move that zip archive out of the way because we're not going to need it anymore so we're going to jump into this folder and we're going to open the publish folder and scroll down as you can see here we've got a file called ryujinx.exe you just want to go ahead and load that up and give it a couple of seconds to load it takes quite a while first time about 10 seconds or so so we're just going to let that load and as you can see the console's popped up and then you should get this application like so and the first message you should be greeted with is pretty much ryu0001 keys not found so we're going to first of all fix this so go ahead and press ok i'm going to drag this over to the center like so and what you want to do first of all is go to file when you've clicked on file you want to scroll down to open ryujinx folder and what this is going to do is it's going to open your app data, roaming and Ryujinx. So what we're going to do for now is we're going to minimize the application and minimize the console. We're then going to open up the system folder, which is in here. And as you can see at the moment in this folder, we have just got a file which is called profiles.json. So here's where the uh, product keys are going to come into play. So if I open this keys folder, as you can see, I have got my product keys here. So I'm going to right click on this show more options press copy and i'm going to paste them into this system folder like so so once you've done that you can close out of the system folder you can close out your keys folder and you can then go into ryujinx the application and close it down you then want to go back into the ryujinx folder once again go into the publish folder and relaunch ryujinx.exe you want to let that load up and as you can see it has done so here and the next thing you'll want to do is you'll want to install the 18.1.0 firmware files so as you can see in the bottom right hand corner at the moment the system version is 0, 0.0 so if you go ahead and go to tools at the top and you go to install firmware and choose install a firmware from a directory 
but actually sorry before this what you want to do is close out this for now minimize this and minimize this the firmware files you'll want to extract them to your desktop so again i'm going to go down to uh, winrar extract to firmware 18.1.0 and that's just going to extract it to a folder on my desktop called 18.1.0 so we're going to drag this over here we're going to go back into uh, ryu jinx and we're going to head over to tools again install firmware install firmware from a directory i'm going to browse to the desktop because that's where that folder is and as you can see firmware 18.1.0 so if you just left click this so it's highlighted and click select folder it should pop up in ryu jinx asking you to confirm that you want to install the firmware just go ahead and press yes and as you can see the system version 18.1.0 has been successfully installed so if you look down in the bottom right hand corner, corner sorry now you can see system version 18.1.0 what i like to do once i've done it is i just like to close it down head back to the ryu jinx folder go into publish and again reload that exe file just to make sure that this firmware has installed correctly and it's still in place so as you can see system version 18.1.0 so we're pretty much done now to be honest all we need to do is load our game up to test so to do this what you want to do is again minimize this and minimize this you'll want to go into the ryu jinx folder go into publish and in here you'll want to make a new folder called games so as you can see, I made that folder called games. And what I'm going to do now is just open this up and drag my game into this folder. So that is done for now. So what you want to do is close out of this. You can then go back to the Ryu Jinx application. And as you can see at the moment, we've got no games in here, which is fine. So you want to go to file. No, sorry, not file. You want to go to options, settings, and let this load up. And under user interface here, you can see game directories. So you'll, what you'll want to do is go ahead and press add you're going to come up with this you want to scroll to wherever you just created that games folder so for me it was in the ryu jinx in the publish folder in the games and once you've gone into games you should just go ahead and press select folder once you've done that you want to go ahead and press apply and you want to go ahead and press ok so as you can see now luigi's mansion 2 has been loaded into ryu jinx and any other game that you add into that folder once you load up ryu jinx they will be presented here so what you want to do then is for example if you want to update this game or install the latest updates for this game you can go ahead and right click on it and you can go to manage title updates and as you can see there's no update so i don't need to do anything but you can manage um, title updates from there and install the latest updates for your games so what we're going to do now is just go ahead and launch this so we're going to go ahead right click and press run application as you can see now it is loading luigi's mansion to hd so what i'll do is i'll fast forward the video depending on how long it's going to take to load and you'll see that we are playing luigi's mansion to hd on the computer via the ryu jinx emulator so as you can see guys it's all loaded and everything i'm not going to play through it at the moment or i'm not going to run it i'll put that in a newer video because right now i've got my keyboard plugged in i'd need to configure all the keys and everything and stuff like that i'll make a separate video on how to use controllers on this and everything but as you can see for now we have managed to load a nintendo switch game via ryu jinx on the computer so yeah guys that's just been a full guide on how to set up ryu jinx hope you liked the video if it's helped at all please like comment and subscribe and i'll see you in the next video peace